Greetings, Melvi International family. This is Melusi coming to you live from South Africa, thanking you for tuning in to this live Sabbath broadcast. You know, we're so privileged because this is exactly why we do this. Privileged enough to be able to serve the Lord and excited that you are able to join us and to follow this broadcast. Tell you what, my friends, today is a special Sabbath. All of them are special. But today we decided to focus on Africa. What are we talking about? We're talking about Africa's great biblical heritage. We're talking about Africa's Christian heritage. Let me thank you as our subscriber for choosing Melvi Broadcasting Network as your virtual home. On this channel, we want to be the divine voice out of Africa, sharing with you quality and adulterated truths from the Bible. And so friends, thank you for subscribing to Melvi and thanks to those who have joined us and have said, as a member, I want to donate a little bit of my funds to Melvi. And please, if you're new to this channel, subscribe and join us and get in touch with us. There are so many projects we'd like to do as Melvi that you and I, together, we should do before the end of this world. And friends, the money that we are so selfish with one day we're going to throw it away. It's going to be cankered. It's going to be eaten by inflation. While we still have it, let's use it to bless the Lord and to build his eternal kingdom. What you put to the Lord's work, you don't lose. It's an investment and a credit not to God. He will pay you back. And so friends, thank you so much for joining us and thank you for subscribing. Let me tell you about today's theme. We are focusing on Africa's Christian heritage. You see, when we look into the continent of Africa, there are three main religions. There is Africa traditional religion, there is Islam, and there is Christianity. So Africa is a melting pot of various religions, but Christianity is a growing and thriving heritage of Africa. We have presentations lined up in this Sabbath that will prove to you that long before the missionary project came to Africa, God was at work in Africa with Africans and through Africans. And even in our day, we are unapologetically claiming our heritage as Melville Broadcasting Network as a divine voice out of Africa. We are carrying that great torch of the truth to the whole world as Africans because that, my friend, is our heritage in Jesus Christ. For John chapter 3, 16 says, For God so loved the world, and Africa is one of the biggest continents in the world, that he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever, meaning any tribe, any race, any creed, any kindred, any tongue, anybody, my friends, who believes in him, will not perish but have everlasting life. That's our heritage. And by the way, we believe as Melvi Broadcasting Network that all humanity was created by God. Now, if you read with me from the book of Acts chapter 16, a very beautiful scripture that I love so much because it does confirm our origins and our heritage. Chapter 16 verse uh, 26 says, actually it's chapter 17 uh, verse 26, it says, and he, that is God, made from one blood every nation of men to dwell on the face of the earth and has determined their pre-appointed times and the boundaries of their dwellings. Verse 28 then says, so that they should seek the Lord in the hope that they might find, they might grope for him and find him, though he is not far from each one of us. So my friends, God is not far from the Africans. Let's find out how close he has been in the past. There are many powerful and beautiful presentations that we have lined up for you. I don't even want to preempt them. Just tune in to Melvi for the next 24 hours. We will be sharing with you presentations that will spark a fire in your mind to realize you are not a second class citizen. Let me also quickly state that Christianity, as we know it and as we understand it from the Bible, 
is not a colonial project. Don't be fooled, my friends. It is not colonialists who brought the Bible to us. We knew God. They only brought something to illuminate what we already understood. And they brought salvation in no other name but Christ, Jesus himself. So let me declare clearly that we believe Christianity is an authentic African belief system that we should embrace because we've always had it. And also, let me be very quick to state that we shall be saved. If you read the Bible in the book of Revelation, um, chapter 14 and chapter 10 and in chapter 21, God is saving nations and tongues and kindreds and God has decided how he's going to save us. It's not an African thing. It's not a European thing. It's not an American thing. It is God's own way. So God has a plan to save everyone from wherever we are. So the blood that runs in the white men is the same blood that runs in the black men. Not even a black man, a brown man. The same that runs in a Chinese and an Australian. There are only simple four categories of blood groups in the world. And you find them in all tribes all kindred and all nations. So my friend, as you watch today's broadcast, I want you to sit back and reflect on the errors and the lies that the devil has told about Africa. Be blessed as you listen to these messages. And I want to remind you again, if you're new to our channel, please do subscribe to Melvi Broadcasting Network. We are a divine voice out of Africa. I want to also invite you to please support this ministry. We have fed you. We're giving you quality broadcasts, quality videos and materials. Surely you want to bless our efforts and help us to reach many more souls. With this, my friends, let me pray with you as we get into our broadcast. Father God in heaven, we thank you this moment. The time has come because you have determined that out of Africa, you shall speak to the whole world. We pray, Father, that we may be able to represent your glory, your honor, and your greatness. We pray for our brothers who are scattered across the universe, for you have loved the whole world, and you are here to remind everyone who is listening and watching to this channel that they are valuable, they are important. You died for them, and you live to make intercession for us, and you are willing to save us to the uttermost. Bless us now as we shall worship and celebrate our heritage as believers in Jesus Christ. Amen. Be blessed, my friends. See you on the next episode. God bless you.